Hey guys, welcome back to the checkpoint for another No Man's Sky video. Today, or yesterday rather, we got some brand new gameplay from the PlayStation 4 Greatness Awaits trailer for the summer, which is a sort of showcase for the biggest games coming out in the next few months. We also saw Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm super excited about, The Last Guardian, which I'm also super excited about, and Gran Turismo Sport, which is, yeah, it's cool, I guess? Nonetheless, we also got some fantastic new no Man's Sky gameplay that we're going to be analysing and discussing today. So, all in all, we got around 20 seconds of No Man's Sky within the trailer, which isn't a whole lot, but it was still very exciting to see some stuff that you may not have noticed before. The gameplay really focused upon space combat with some new planets thrown into the mix and gave us a really good look at just how jaw-droppingly gorgeous the game is. So I've got some screenshots here provided by Ultima Star over on the No Man's Sky Reddit and there are a few things we can pick at with in these screenshots which will give us a better idea of what to expect when we finally get our hands on the game. So first of all we get this shot of the player flying over a big red planet called, and I'm going to try pronounce this without sounding like a turtle moron, Ye Sky Unyi Hippin. Yeah, I kind of failed at not sounding like a turtle moron there. And it's probably one of the biggest planets we've seen so far. You can make out small rivers and landscape features dotted around the planet, so it's likely that at around this height is when all the distinctive features of a planet show themselves. We also get a good look at the in-ship UI and the interface, so we can see the planet name and distance on the left-hand side of the console. And you can also see the planet here is undiscovered by anyone else. And to the right of that, you can see the speed in which you are traveling. So here it says 2627U, which is faster, by the way, than the original limit of 1500U. So not sure if this means that the player is using some sort of speed boost or whether there's been some sort of improvement to the limit of how fast you can travel. But I just thought I'd point that out to show you how fast you can actually go on the planets in this game as of now. Then we've got this big central unit, which is another map of the area, it seems. So I guess this is where you'll see oncoming enemies or traders. We'll see a little bit of that later on. And it also shows the curvature of the planet itself. And to the right of that, we'll find the name of our ship. So in this case, it's the Kaiwaki S84. And you can see the health bar for its shield just under that. And then finally, to the right of that, we have our current weapon, which is a photon cannon with its ammo count underneath. The next screenshot really shows the improvements made to the asteroids in the game. So previously, the asteroids seemed a little too... neat? They all looked the same, and it kind of ruined the immersion of the game since it all felt a little bit too... formulaic. However, now you can see how varied the asteroids are, and the little details are great as well, like the wire running on the left-hand side of the glass and the vent at the top giving the game so much more detail and life and making more... for an all-round, more immersive product. The next few pictures, I'm going to kind of fade between each one, shows the lighting effects we can see in the game. So there's no cheap lens flare here. The team at Hella Games have gone all out and made a super nice looking glare that's really going to make you kind of squint when you go past the sun as you would in real life. Or maybe if you were actually that close to the sun, your eyes would turn to jelly because I don't think there's any way you could get that close to the sun. But the little changes in colour turns and brightness is a real impressive feat considering how many light sources there will be in the finished game so it's really nice to see that they're taking you know all of this into account and finally we have my favorite screenshot this battle sequence it looks super gorgeous it really rounds off everything we've discussed so far we've got the gorgeous spectacle of a space battle with our ai wingmen up top that's something i also forgot to mention the ai wingmen this is what they look like in game you can kind of see three of them in all of these screenshots that i've shown so far so maybe it's a maximum of three ai wingmen but we can see them right there as well as a huge well, a bunch of huge freighters heading towards the planet on the right, all tied together with some stunning lighting effects. This might be my favourite screenshot of the game ever, and it's getting me so much more hyped for the game's eventual release in August. So there we have it, there's my analysis of the brand new No Man's Sky gameplay featured in the PS4 Greatness Awaits for Summer trailer. I'll leave that link to the trailer down below so you can check out the small bits of gameplay we got as well as the other games available in the trailer but thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video leave it a like and make sure you subscribe for more content like this but for now this has been steve that's been no man's sky checkpoint complete